Hello all, we are back with some Fallout 4 and I'm going to jump into some mods that I've tried out recently. These were all found on the Nexus and I will provide the links to them in the description below. So the first mod up is the Carrier's Brahmin replacement and it's supposed to replace the Brahmin with a Settler and Power Armor. I actually could not get this to work. A Brahmin uh, would appear when I assign provisioners, but it would just be a normal Brahmin. It wouldn't be replaced with the new model. So it's likely a conflict with the other mods that I have. I did, however, see one of these guys outside of Diamond City where Cricket usually stands, but he was just standing there, not really doing anything, and uh, you couldn't really interact with him. He would just have like small things to say when you talk to him. He actually didn't have a voice. It would just be subtitles on the screen. I was still able to make use of the backpack, however, by going over to the power armor station and adding it to my power armor. The enchantment of the backpack was a bit underwhelming as it doesn't give you increased carry weight. The next mod is Westing Estate Settlement and it is located in the same area where you have to get the baseball items for Mo Cronin. I think you can still complete the quest here because there were a few containers floating in the air and I assumed that these containers were the ones that contained the items. So you can scrap these containers that are floating in the air once you are done. So another pine forest will also have trees clipping through this uh through the, like the houses and stuff but you can scrap those when you're in workshop mode. So the place itself looks pretty nice. The The frame drops drop a little bit here. I'm not exactly sure if there was like some clutter that I couldn't see or anything. But for the most part, this settlement is already built up. You just have to place small things inside like furniture and then it needs some power, water and food as well. So there's a boat that you can build on and if you don't like it, you could just scrap the whole dang thing. There's a few pet dogs in the area as well. And I would say that this settlement is good for anyone who wants new settlements added to their game, but doesn't really like building. Next is a mod that changes the old corner bookstore into a Chipotle restaurant. This is a nice small mod that's mostly aesthetic. It will add decorations to both the exterior as well as the interior of the place. The inside has changes that are big enough to cause conflicts with the Tales of the Commonwealth mod. So I tried placing this in the load order above 3D NPCs and below it and either way it still had conflicts. So it would be nice if this mod had an exterior only version to avoid such conflicts or at least a patch for 3D NPCs. Either way, I think that this mod is okay, especially if you're a fan of the food of Chipotle. Next is Climbable Ladders by Badger Bomb, and this will place some ladders in the world that you can actually climb up. So there will be animations for ascending and descending on using these ladders. And if you play in first person, your character will be pushed into third person when using the climbing animations. And when it ends, you will be put back into first person. So the mod is early in development as there are only a few of these placed in the world. But the author is taking suggestions on where to add more ladders into the world. So you can get this mod in both ESL or ESP format and it is safe to flag the ESP as ESL. Next is TG's Cambridge Apartment. This is a small studio apartment located north of the Monsignor Plaza and it is 
pretty easy to find because it is located right above a tunnel. So inside there is some junk for you to loot, containers for storing items, and a bed for you to sleep in. There's also a bathroom in here to make it a bit more immersive. The terminal in here didn't have any information on it, it doesn't really serve any purpose other than loading your hollow tapes. This is a mod for anyone who wants a more realistic post apocalyptic place to live in when you know exploring the commonwealth. Next is a Fallout 76 style Crusader pistol by Donsky62. This weapon is added to the level list so you will see it being used by Brotherhood soldiers as well as some gunners and raider bosses. This weapon is pretty accurate and it has some recoil when firing. The customization options are plenty as there are add-ons for scopes, barrels, grips, etc. What I like most about this mod, other than it being very accurate to Bethesda's version of the gun in Fallout 76, is all of the visual improvements that you will see when upgrading the gun. For example, if you add flame ballistics to the pistol, it will have a gas tank placed below the barrel. So I highly recommend trying this one out. I think that it is very good. It's one of the best weapons that I've downloaded in a while. So that is going to do it for me on this video. Leave a comment on what mods you think that I should try out next. I will provide the links for all of the mods shown in this video. Thank you for stopping by and I will see you later.